Hey folks, Sim Samurai here in the luxurious uh, Stratajet Kronos um, by Eugene Hares. Um, don't know if you're familiar with this aircraft, very much like the SR-71 Blackbird, uh, but uh, totally fictitious and totally for, I guess, personal uh, commercial use. Does uh, about Mach 3.5 at 60,000 feet, very fast, very maneuverable, quite the joy to fly and this is a custom panel I created for it. I just launched out of 3-4 right at uh, Seattle Tacoma, KSEA and I'm headed uh, in route uh, right now 14,000 feet uh, to uh, KSFO San Francisco. This is again a fictional panel that I made for this aircraft. Um, it's got a, several nifty features moving map display. This is almost like a Garmin G1000, um, except it's not. It's completely fictitious, just something I made up. Um, and again, in my book, um, Sim, Samurai's, uh, Sim Samurai's Ultimate Guide to Advanced Flight Simulation, you can learn how to do everything that I do here. I give you a complete A to Z uh, checklist on how to get it done, um, from creating the bitmaps, to finding the gauges, to finding the right aircraft, to dropping the gauges on the bitmaps. Um, it's all there. Um, but as you can see, um, I, I actually did not create any of these gauges myself. I did not build gauges. I don't really know how to do that yet. Um, but I do know how to beg, borrow, and steal gauges from other aircraft to make other aircraft look uh, like they were made to be that aircraft. Um, rather than, well, you see a lot of aircraft that you download, you can tell that a lot of the gauges are borrowed from other aircraft. I strive to make panels that don't look like that. Um, I try, strive to make panels that look like it is the actual aircraft, whether it's fictitious or not, or even when I make realistic looking aircraft panels, I really strive to make sure that the panel looks um, something that would be original. Um, again, this is for the Stratajet Kronos. Great aircraft, very high speed, high altitude. Um, kick in the pants to fly, but just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of uh, what can be done um, with creating your own panels uh, and literally for pennies on the dollar. Um, right now I'm not using no payware. This is all freeware gauges you're looking at right here um, from a multitude of aircraft that I've downloaded off the internet. Uh, if you look right here, this main uh, view, this gives you an exterior view, um, which I pulled out of another plane. So in addition to your main view outside, you've got another view like a camera view as if the, the, you know, the plane had an undermounted camera under the wing or something. So I can toggle that off and on between your EADI and your EHSI. Um, I can toggle another panel here for checklists. So you've got your startup, your taxi, your climbing descent, approach speeds, stuff like that. Um, again, um, here's uh, uh, you know, your uh, comms and your autopilot checks right here, also your main uh, autopilot um, mode selects are over here, your autopilot main uh, bar for all your altitude presets, vertical speed, indicated airspeed, heading, nav course, etc. are over here. I'll turn that off and show you my radar over here. Again, everything's toggled via this main switch back and forth. This is your radar, the Marciana radar uh, with, with its mode and range over here in this corner. Um, again, turn that off. Turn off the autopilot radar, turn the main on, we've got a TV HSI over here. This does the same thing, except this is another EHSI over here. I can bring a system window up here. I can bring an ECAS window up right there. So again, it's not exactly Garmin G1000, but for, you know, for free and making something on the fly. Kind of gives you the same feel, certainly a lot of functionality. Um, gives you definitely a higher sense of realism than, than anything that you'll find in any default simulator aircraft. Um, so I guess that's it for now. Again, this is the uh, Stratajet Kronos and Sim Samurai signing off. Hope you have a good flight. Bye.